Hi, I'm Jeet from Espresso Tech Sales and Service, and today we're going to do a video overview on the new Breville Smart Grinder that we carry now. So we have it right here. It's a great grinder. We fell in love with it. Besides the fact that it looks great, it actually performs quite well. So we'll just do a little overview, show you how it works and some of the features about it. So we'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top. Uh, over here, we have a removable tray. It's magnetically held. So it's a catch tray for any spilled ground. You can actually just pull it out, toss it away. <coughs> Next, we have the cradle here. Now, this cradle is a neat feature. There's two different sizes that come with the Breville uh, for different size porter filters, and it's just removable, just held in magnetically. Um, so you have the option of grinding with the cradle or removing it and grinding into the provided container, which holds about 12 cups of coffee. So it's a nice sealable container, which is really neat. And it's all BPA free as well, too. So now we go to the interface of the Breville unit. Uh, this is where really all the magic is. On the right hand side we have the grind adjustment and I'll go you know as coarse for pressed coffee and also is fine for drip and actually does a quite good job. Um, <clears throat> as you can see the, the display knows um, what setting basically you're at and uh, by the setting that you're at it will automatically adjust the dosing so if you're at a French press it'll grind for a much longer time to get the amount of coffee that you need but as you coarse all well, as you find the grind towards espresso, it'll change uh, the dosing for an espresso. Now, if that dosing is not correct, or you prefer overdosing, underdosing, or you want to adjust it, you have the adjustment knob right here on the very left, and so you have five negative settings and then five positive settings to basically play with on how you'd like it to you know, adjust the dose, uh, just in case if the factory settings aren't on spot. So, that's how you do the dosing. Uh, to use the unit, with the cradle in, it'll actually you know, allow you to do one shot or two shot dosing um, by basically selecting one or two and then clicking start. Um, with the cradle removed, um, the sensor knows that the cradle's gone and then you can actually dose up to 12. Well, 12 on the press and five for the espresso, which would be ground right into your ground container. But the moment you snap this back in place, It'll instantly lock it out and it won't let you grind that long because it just knows you're not going to be grinding into a container. Another neat feature too is that while you're in the press mode, it will remind you to take away the cradle if it is in place because you're not going to be using it. So it's a nice little friendly reminder that Rebel put in there, uh, like that little bit of engineering that they did. So now to actually dispense your coffee. Uh, once you've selected one or two shots, if you have your cradle or you have your grounds container in place, you would click the start uh, just right here and it would automatically stop. Another option you have is just actually using um, one-handed grinding. There's a little button on the back, so you can actually just press it once and it'll start the grind cycle and it'll do the two shots or one shot, whatever you have selected. Uh, also, if you hold against the back of the machine, it'll just grind on demand as per what you need, so start, stop, or on demand grinding. So, it's a neat little feature that Breville put in, really appreciate it. Now we'll go up to the bean hopper right here, uh, we see that it has an aroma preservation ring, uh, it's a neat little thing feature that uh, helps keep the bean fresh, fresher longer. Um, <clears throat> The whole bean hopper holds a full pound of coffee, so it's nice, it's nice amply sized, so you don't have to constantly refill it. And to take it apart for cleaning, it's actually really, really simple. It's nearly as simple as three steps. You know, remove your uh, bean hopper lid, then in the center here, you set it to the unlock setting, so ready, tidy, lefty, loosey, so turn it counterclockwise. Again, the display instantly notifies you to lock the bean hopper. But when you lock it, or when you unlock the bean hopper to take it off, it'll shut it off so your beans aren't flying anywhere. So you don't have to really worry about emptying out and vacuuming out the bean hopper, which is a neat feature compared to some of the other grinders on the market. Now the next step here, uh, what you'll do is you'll be just rotating the clip on the upper burr ring. So let's tilt it forward to make it easier. So you'll see there's this little flap here with a notch. Just lift up, and then once you lift it up, you just turn it counterclockwise. So I'll just do so. And with that, you've taken off uh, the upper burr, which gives you full access to the lower burr assembly. And these are stainless steel conical burrs, which grind quite well, actually, during our testing. It 
moves. We're pulling awesome shots of five from below. So it's a great little grinder. And a reassembly is just as simple as doing the steps backwards. So tighten the upper bar back in place. Just like that. Placing the bean hopper back in. And as soon as I lock it back into place, the sensor notifies. Well, the sensor realizes it, and then you can go ahead and start grinding. So that's the overview on the Bravo grinder. Uh, thoroughly impressed. We love the electronics um, in it. It has a lot of neat electronic features. It's quite robustly built. The finish is awesome. It's got a great look and finish to it. Um, it's sturdy on the counter, but it's not overly heavy, so it's really easy to move around if need be. So thanks for checking out our video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below, and uh, stay tuned for our next one.